drive going towards uh, Signal Fishing Park. See it off in the uh, distance to the right. So there's the uh, ropeway that goes up to the top of the mountain, and here is the parking lot. I usually spend uh, from 800 to 1,000 N uh, to park here, and that's about, what, seven to uh, nine bucks. I always love uh, coming around the curve here. Uh, the view is breathtaking. Another beautiful sunrise at Suma Fishing Park. What's really great is this is uh, the point where the mountain meets the sea. So there's the Suma Fishing Park office and the walkway that goes out to the pier. It always takes a lot longer to put on all the winter gear and uh, trying to catch up to uh, Tom. So I thought I was going to be slick by uh, diving underwater out to the point where the uh, currents hit. Uh, normally there's a ton of fish there, but wintertime, it's like a ghost town. Nothing. So I'm backtracking a little bit, and what the... There's this thing that um, basically it's flapping back and forth. It looks like a tiny bat like a jelly bat and it uh, is flipping back and forth uh, and I'm thinking oh man I have discovered something new some kind of like water wing or something um, it's not big but the more I looked at it the more I thought wait a minute is that um, a sea slug because I had been studying about sea slugs and they basically have this feathery gill area in the mid part of their body. And this is what this thing had, although it looked perfectly symmetrical. And I just waited until it uh, hit the bottom to see if it would attach and start acting like a slug uh, instead of like a bat wing. And uh, it drifted a bit and didn't really take hold for a while. And I'm thinking, maybe it's something else. But it certainly is changing, looking more and more like a slug rather than a symmetrical wing. And sure enough, it finally attached itself uh, on its favorite rock. So here we are uh, going through the uh, structure, through the tunnels in the structure that I call the labyrinth. Um, there's actually two tunnels in each uh, section. Um, you can't really tell. It looks like one tunnel, but there's a big gap like in between in the ceiling section. Uh, you can see it right there. And then I see a net off to the uh, left side and I go, oh man, I don't want to deal with that. And I, I abort and go up instead of going through the rest of the tunnels. Watch out for nets here. So for uh, Kobe, um, Kobe waters, this is a pretty clear day, uh, even from the surface. We could sort of see these uh, little tube things, um, just the circular shape from the top, uh, 10 meters up, and just dove down to them. And yeah, it's just a complex. It's like uh, macaroni. Um, one of these uh, tubes, yeah, this one right here reminded me of um, an eclipse of the sun. I wanted to swim all the way through, but I decided, nah, I'm don't think I'm skinny enough. Nice. 
So going uh, back down into the macaroni again. Uh, all these tubes, concrete tubes that they've sunk in. The, some of these fish, the shape of them were kind of goldfish, like kind of plump in the midsection and then skinny in the tail area. And oh, there was a tie and it didn't see, quite see me. Like uh, just my head was peeking over the edge and it was sort of checking me out. And then I, I think I made too much noise and it, um, it got scared off. Uh, I was ex actually extending the uh, selfie stick at it, towards it at that point. Um, just gotta be more stealthy. Okay, I'm following my dive buddy Tom down. Um, this section here is about 10 meters deep and he is heading straight for the bottom. And I decide uh, to go at this point towards him and touch bottom also. And uh, was still feeling good, so decided to check more of these uh, macaroni tubes. It'd be funny uh, to get a picture of uh, one of us sleeping in there, like uh, camping style. That's nice. 9.6, huh? All right. Second attempt uh, through the labyrinth. Um, I want to just go from one end of the structure to the other through these uh, funky tunnels. Uh, fish are just darting away into that crevice there. Got to check that out uh, next time. Uh, so I went through two right here. Last time, this is where I boarded, and I was thinking about it, but decided to just persevere and continue on through um but this part was scary because i'm thinking man if there's a net i'm just gonna be in panic mode um and there was netting but as you can see it's across the top i gotta go back and try to remove the rest of that so it's uh selfie stick time uh just to give you a different perspective on all of this uh, going down 10 meters or so. Looking around, heading for the macaroni. And grabbing the edge of the macaroni. Um, I must say that uh, I'm not too happy with the uh, visual. I'll kick the uh, camera right there. Um, I'm not too happy with the visual look of the uh, new mask, it makes me look like a monster. So we've got uh, one of the bigger puffer fish here uh, with the yellow eyes or orange eyes. Uh, and it seems during the winter, they're, they're kind of mellow. They, they don't really uh, swim away quickly. Sometimes they just lie there and just say, um, looking like they're just thinking, yeah, I'm full of poison. You're not going to mess with me. Um, so here we are. This is um, our junk industrial swimming uh, playground. Uh, just debris all around the bottom. Uh, everything is covered with layers of crust, uh, organisms on top of organisms, um, and just all kinds of... Uh, funky stuff that has fallen off of the uh, pier or been dropped by fishermen, who knows, uh, grating, fences, um, pipes, wires, and uh, uh, what else, um, 
sometimes uh, nets, which I do not like if you've seen my uh, video where I actually get stuck in a net. Uh, my ankle gets caught in a net. Uh, I'm not a fan of nets. I, I, uh, I do not um, underestimate them anymore. So here we go, more examples of um, our industrial playground. Uh, just like the Amazon with vines, uh, except everything's just like uh, cables and wires and uh, stuff just crusted over with um, all kinds of uh, wildlife uh, shells, uh, barnacles, um, and then just the junk that's on the floor, like uh, a lot of it, you can't even tell what it is. That that's definitely the uh, the uh, fencing that that used to go around the uh, top of the uh, pier. Uh, there we go, some uh, rope, um, big uh, clam or maybe mussel or oysters. Actually, I think type of uh, shells often grow on these uh, cables that hang down and they just uh, just sort of hang there like balls of uh, weight. Um, but you can see it. Oh, my favorite, nets. Ugh. Stay away from them. Always carry a knife if you can. Um, uh, there have been a number of times where it's either saved my life or uh, basically uh, got me released from the net when I was in full panic mode. Okay, the end of another adventure at Suma Fishing Park. Thank you.